Hello everyone, welcome to my minus two win streak. I thought Blue Baby would be a good idea. It wasn't, let's do it again. What poor play. What terrible, what rotten luck. No, um, I think I have a certain amount of Isaac food to regain. Some days you have really good Isaac play where you seem to be able to get close to enemies with random shots like this and not worry about that they're gonna hit you and all your shots hit and you get through a room like that nice and quickly. Other days, you can't get through a simple, you know, caves to... Ooh, I wonder if I can get all of this. That was definitely worth doing, irrespective of whether I can or not. I've got everything except this, but I think it's now worth doing... Ooh, push. This. So if we get a... Uh, tinted Rock. I think I had Tinted Rock. What I meant was a Spirit Heart, but we also got that. So that's also... That's already a much better benefit than we got from the previous entire run, which, um managed to fail to really provide us with any HP throughout all of it. I mean, rely did you see that shot? Relying on HP dropping is not really a very good way of playing Blue Baby at all. And I think, I think I need to play more Blue Baby because it removes one of the main crutches of, of Isaac, which is that you can have HP and basically guarantee that you will be be replenished that, that will be sort of you'll gain interest over time right because HP will drop but that's not true of blue baby at all I have a Dagar's rune we should go and find the item room first because it could give us some benefit against this boss and the Dagar's rune is a spirit heart in waiting but besides that I've got a lot of money as well which is really nice besides the spirit heart in waiting it will purge a curse and I think that's going to be more useful for us right now we don't need the spirit heart, and we don't have a curse, so we should save it unless something better comes along. And we should remember we're not... Oh my god. That took me completely by surprise. This is going to be good, though, because this uh, exploding champion here is going to explode this uh, tinted drop for us. And hopefully not hit us in the meantime. And what I'm going to do is actually go this way to make sure it actually is next to the tinted drop. When it explodes two spirit hearts, Definitely puts us in a position where indeed we could take a deal with the devil if we wanted to, but I don't really want to. And we have two locked rooms which we could open. But only one key. And this nickel. Alongside those extra pennies there. Uh, yeah, we'll take Lemon Missile. That could actually be really good against most bosses. I'm going to say that this one over here is closer to the entrance, which I think makes it a library. Although I wouldn't swear to it. I'd rather open the library at this... Oh, we've got Lemon Missile Pocket. Uh, it is, and all it's done is given us basically this Book of Sin. Um, which is a black heart, which is great. We've got Telepathy for Dummies, which is not that good. Especially um, especially against a boss, especially compared to Lemon Missile. Which, if it's a ground-based boss, it's going to be super good for us. It is. So, uh, I didn't actually mean to put that there. But hopefully we can get Monstro to land on it. There, there we go. Wow, that's actually a really considerable amount of damage. So well done, me. Much better than yesterday's monster fight. We've got a damage and range upgrade, so we're already doing so much better than the previous run. I'm feeling very confident. We've got a lot more HP. We've got a lot of potential going on here. We've already got a damage and range upgrade, which is super good for us. We didn't get into the last shot, but I really don't think that matters too much. And we've got these enemies that just kill themselves anyway, so I don't need to worry about them. Um, we've been very lucky with Tinted Rocks as well because of these exploding enemies and they've also seemed to have given us a, a bomb or two as a result. So we've got some uh, latent Tinted Drop potential in them. We really have to kill that one when it changes because it, if that one respawns, it just keeps producing flies. It's very annoying. So Sloth is a card, possibly the virus. Okay, why don't you come over here? Why don't you... What did I just say? Come over here. Come on. No. Come over here, no. Come over here, no. Well, we got some value out of it, I guess. The enemy said it spawned at least died from it. We have got a card. So, uh, I think it's um, Lust that produces the virus, actually. The Fool card... We don't have a curse yet, but the Fool card could get us out of a curse room, which means it's probably worth doing that and coming back for the Dagar's rune. We we'll probably take our time here. I'm not entirely worried about Bosphorus because it's very unlikely to get us anywhere close to getting the Crown of Light. Which is the only reason we're hit here, unless we have um, Chaos from a shop. But then we have to get into shops and we're not really doing that. 
with any particular fervor. Anyway, the point is... I think Thetis is shit. Don't take it. Range down. It's okay. I'd rather we got a... <laughs> okay. I'd rather we got a... um An, an upgrade pill. Like, uh, balls of steel, perhaps. But look, we... um In the previous episode... We had a cricket's head. Cricket's body, in fact. In a room like that. And this time we've got Bob's rotten head. Whereas in the previous episode we had Bob's rotten head. We didn't really use it to any great effect. That's a shame. Unless we can get some more keys, I'm probably not going to open that. It's another one of those things. Golden chests can be so valuable. Especially if they contain an item. But I don't want to... I want to try it. There is a curse room, by the way. This is an HP for us. Sort of latently, but it'll go at the start, so we've protected it, basically. I think it was worth a bomb to get an HP. Basically, that's a bomb for a spirit heart, right? Which is a good trait. Cards in here, anyway. Him, uh, Hematomus, no. Hierophant would be great. Shoot these, because they will shoot you. Justice yes. is usable straight away. The Hermit gets us into a shot. I don't know. I want out. <laughs> Let me out. I can't get out of here if it is a secret room, which it's not. I think we... Doesn't matter which one we take, but I want to take the full card because it's closer to the thing that I do want. Um, which is my Dagar's room. I, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'm trying to get a good advantage out of what we've got here. But I'm thinking that because we only have one key... And I'm tempted to use it on this golden chest. In fact, I think I probably will. Boom. Ah, rubbish. Because we only had one key, the hermit will get us into the shop for free. Um. But. Oh, my God. I don't want to go back into the curse room to get the hermit card. I don't want to spend a whole spirit heart on the hermit card. This was not a great fight because this enemy moves too much. Did you see that? He just threw poops at me. That's bullshit. He literally just launched his own shit at me. Bits of himself. It's not even like monkeys flinging their poop. It's like monkeys flinging their organs. Please go away. <laughs> just die. Just die. Just die. Because we have this Dagar's rune, which is the spirit heart that we could then spend to retrieve the hermit card. But maybe the Dagos rune will be way more important to clear, like a curse of the blind or something like that. Speed up's nice. Oh, I really want to take it all. <laughs> I mean, we could take Abaddon, but we're not doing that. This is ah, oh, this is Blue Baby. If you get Abaddon as Blue Baby, you take it. You know, it's a HP upgrade as well as a everything else upgrade. Still no curse, by the way. I feel like I've forgotten to put it on hard mode. Like, I'm, I'm starting to think this Dagar's play is um, a little bit swinging for the fences. I don't think it needs to be quite as min maxly as I'm making it. And maybe getting the Hermit card in exchange for the Dagar's rune not being used as a purge of curse. Um, maybe that was actually the correct play because we've got so much money now. And no bombs left. So we can't even get into the shop if that is the shop. I'm hoping that uh, this will resolve itself just with the acquisition of keys in um, in this floor, but you know we also want to get into our item room. That was really bad dodging. Don't worry about it. Probably should use uh, this here like this. There we go. I have used a lot of keys to open golden chests. I mean, we probably should not have used that key to open that golden chest on the last floor. But it could have been Cricket's... It could have been Cricket's head, yeah, but it could have been Guppy's head. No, it could have been anything of value. There are many things of value that can come from a golden chest. I'm glad to get rid of that um, champion. That was the important thing there. I really wish I had... <laughs> this is exactly the room where you want to have Lemon Mishap available. Because these things have too much HP. Right, it's gone. You really have to focus on the spawner there, but... It spawns these things so fast that you almost can't keep up. You have to take a little bit of damage just to get in there. Ignore those enemies. Well, this is Lemon Mishap room and a half. I'm going to convince this to come over here. Please. Nope. Oh, now you're doing it. 
Now you see him. Don't like it when it changes lanes. I think it should have a little bit more lane discipline. If you're going to do that, you should probably indicate. You know? Especially when you're coming off a roundabout. That is the worst thing. Now, look. Let's not this be the fucking complaining about people driving for half an hour. Half hour, but look. How hard is it to tell me that you're coming off the fucking roundabout? The number of times I've sat, like, on a roundabout, waiting to leave my lane and get into the roundabout, trying to gauge from people's tyres what the hell they're bloody doing, because apparently they can't just tell me what they're bloody doing with a flashing light on the side of their goddamn car. I could spend five minutes. I haven't got five minutes, I'm a busy guy. I don't even drive that much and it still rages me. Enrages me. It rages me so much I forget how to England speak. Let's take this, it's very much okay. <sighs> I mean, I don't mind too much if you don't indicate when you're like in front of me and you want to leave the road and you put your brakes on and by the time you know, you've done all the dancing around shenanigans of actually deciding that you want to leave the road and you want to turn into a side road and all that crap. You've basically already done it. I'm just hoping you mirrored and maneuvered without signaling, right? That's the uh, that's the important thing. As long as you got the mirror bit in, you knew that you were pissing me off. I'm okay with it. And people in the motorway, when they pull out and go around somebody, I knew that you were pulling out and going around them. Like five minutes before you did. I've been hanging back to give you the space to do it because I know you're not going to freaking well indicate when you want to. If you're going to overtake somebody, you can rest assured that I'm already aware that you're going to overtake somebody. This is, this is no good. What are you doing? How good has these deals with the devil been? If this was a normal run, I would be ex ecstatic right now. It's fucking dark bum right there. And we haven't got a single key out of all this. <laughs> we could uh, try for this roundabout especially when you're a large vehicle right I can't I'm not a mind reader most of the time so if you're a large vehicle and you're doing a roundabout thing you're going round and round about right and you ain't indicating I'm terrified to pull out in front of you I'm not gonna do it you know it's not like I'm going it's fine if they haven't indicated and I get it wrong it's gonna be okay it's not gonna be fucking okay I'm going to be, end up under your wheels, wrapped around your axle, and you're not even going to have noticed. It's buses that are the worst. But at least they have, like, train drivers. That is a bit of a difference. You can almost assume that a bus has a train driver. As well as lorries and stuff. But... Nah. Nah, blood. If we had that hermit card, I'd well go up for that. Oh my god, not a single key on this whole floor. Well, yeah. I can't even... Ah! <laughs> well, I guess we're not getting this item. Honestly, I don't think we need it. We played really well. Look at our HP. Whew. Out of this world. But not having... Having spent that key, and therefore not having a way into this item room, is a little bit frustrating. I will admit that. We're definitely not going to boss rush because I've been trying to get some advantages on this run because we know we're not going to be doing deals with the devil. We can go faster if we take deals with the devil. Because we know that we could at least stand to get some advantage out of him. Oh, you didn't even give me the scuttle that you promised me, you bastard. I don't want that. I'm just trying to get a key out of these motherfuckers. You know, prepare to pay above the odds. There's a key. There we go. Now, that probably costs us more than it is worth to get a key, but we can't get into the getting a key room without one. Who locks a shop and then sells stuff anyway? Can we talk about this? It's a shop. If it's locked, you don't go in. And if you do go in when it's locked, you can't expect it to be open for business. Furthermore, can we talk about the fact that shopkeepers are all dead? So to whom am I giving this money? And what's to stop me just, you know waltzing out with it. Like the item, like in Zelda. In Zelda, the shopkeeper exists and is there to take your rupees, but you can still confuse him and run away with the item if you don't mind coming back and being royally owned. 
I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even facing those things. Screw them. Oh, let's do it. Curse. No. <laughs> no. I've carried this Dagar's rune like it's my own mother's ashes or something. And it's... And every single room that I face is perfect for lemon mishap. And every single floor that I face has no use for Dagar's rune. I feel like I'm completely backing the wrong horse right now. But I've, I'm in too deep. You know, it's the gambler's fallacy all over again. Oh, great. I've, I've put so much of my heart and soul into keeping hold of this <laughs> setup. It's Dago's room, which is going to give me HP. Oh, looks. We might as well use it here because we get our um, charge back anyway. But just sort of stand here and let them come to you. That's, uh, that's how cats work as well. But cats don't explode when they stand on pee. Right? Has anyone tested this? Oh. Seems like cats don't do that. I mean, they do contain pee. But I, I mean, I contain hydrochloric acid. It doesn't really mean anything to say that they contain the thing and therefore can't be affected by it. So we're not talking like superhero stuff here. It's not... This isn't Dungeons and Dragons where things made of frost are immune to frost. Cats are not actually made of pee completely. They just... Have it. So this is where what we don't do is use the last one. Oh, maybe we do actually because we're not on a daily. First of all, we use this, which is bad. Okay. And then we do this. Pick up this. Uh, and it's a range down, so very glad that I came in here. We've got three troll, rom troll bombs, one of which chased us down. If you wanted to jump so I could press the space bar, that as well. There we go. Why are you there? It's not where you're supposed to be. Let's do it again. There we go. Nope. Lame. Uh, yeah, very much worth this. Three red chests. High chance of at least some benefit, and all we got was a health down and a range down. And then another health down because we got hit by... Oh my god, look at the spread on that P! You see this shit? Well, it's not shit. Hmm, genius. He outsmarted me. I don't appreciate that. We haven't got any bombs either. We can't even make the chub fight go faster. Let's get rid of the ads. So what do we do? We don't... Look. These enemies do not turn around 180 degrees. I know that. And yeah, I just observed it. I just observed it happening. And I got too close to that enemy. Stop failing at Chubb. You know how to fight Chubb. You keep away so that you have enough time to dodge in the right direction. Like that, you tried to go round him when he was already at the wall. Brain, kindly work with me on our continued survival. This is why you're here. I know that's not me. I know that if we fail this run, it will not be catastrophic to ourselves. Or our lineage, which we don't intend to have anyway, so you know this. You know, you, the same brain that is not, you know, currently maintaining my survival is the same brain that decided that our, you know, procreation is not as valuable as not doing it. So, like, this is the only chance you have to exercise the purpose of your instincts, which is, you know, that of survival and this progeny. And you're failing. And the very... It's not like... It's not like I'm asking you to... You know... In... Yeah, brilliant. I'm not asking you to... Predict the movement of some... Tiger or... Or... Other... You know... Difficultly... Difficult... <laughs> There's no predators, right? They, these aren't... Unpredictable enemies. We know their patterns. We're not going to be suddenly surprised. Shouldn't be. That was a bit unlikely, but it happened, so okay. Now here's another one of them situations where you go, well... I have two keys. And there are two golden chests. And I have not yet... Oh, I've got three keys now, so I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, worth it. Worth it. Come on. We're at 18 minutes on the fucking caves too. Not really popping off this run, I'll be honest. I mean, I'm not playing too fast anyway, because first of all, we don't have Abaddon or Darkbum or the Mark. 
Uh, excuse me, that creep is still there. Just thought it was decoration the amount of time it had been on the ground. Uh, we don't have any of the things we could have taken because we're trying to get this one final item which only comes from one place and that one place is not showing up. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. What are you doing to me? I've been outsmarted by Larry fucking Jr. This is too much. I can't. I can't even can. No, we don't want the Dio. Dio. Uh, yeah, I want that over a lemon mishap. I walked into the fire and I bounced off the thing. We will do this the hard way. Kill all the orange fires. And and the yeah, kill the yellow fires as well, because you can't be trusted. We want we need we need damage. We haven't picked up any of the deals with the devil because we can't. Because of our frustrating attempts at finding, you know, the final item that we need. Which has taken how long? Exactly. Um, and therefore we need proper upgrades. It's like, I, I can only go into so many cursed rooms without feeling too badly about it because our renewed HP is not that guaranteed at all. We only have this one day guard. We have one guaranteed HP, basically. And that's one HP in terms of basically red hearts rather than a red heart container. Stop fucking... Good. <laughs> See, I was going to say that's why you always keep a bomb, but now I don't have a bomb. To always have kept. We really need damage. We need DPS. We don't need speed. We've got a guppy item. We wouldn't mind a couple more, but, you know, it's counting. Uh, the guppy item that we do have is actually a valuable guppy item, independently of being a guppy item, unlike EG Nine Lives, which usually doesn't really come into play that much in order's Guppy's Collar, because Guppy's Collar is not reliable at all. It's not like to say, I've got Guppy's Collar, I'm going to go for this 50% chance to take something that will kill me. Nor are we even doing taking things that will kill us type plays. So, um, <sighs> what? Try and... It's just we're doing such poor damage. I think it's, um, Pulse Worm here is giving us the impression that we're, we're better than we are. Because our tears are sometimes large. But that doesn't actually increase their damage, it just increases their hitbox. And so it's taken such a long time to beat everything. We're still at 21 minutes because we haven't had a single upgrade. There's a tears upgrade, which is DPS, as, as requested. It's the fucking Bible. Who needs this shit? Leave me alone. Um, so we haven't picked up what was our two strongest advantages. These are three. There's Abaddon, which is out of control. Not only in terms of damage, um, which it's a pretty good damage upgrade, I wouldn't call it out of control necessarily, but it will give us three more spirit hearts, because it will cost us three spirit hearts to take it. I'm not sure whether it completely eradicates all your spirit hearts if you're um, rolling on them. Now I come to think of it. Possibly not. I, I know it sets your red heart count to nil, basically, so it would cost a lot more if we were an a character that had red hearts, but at the same time, it's probably worth it. But we're not, so I'm wondering if taking Abaddon would have been really good for us right now. At the very worst, we would have six spirit hearts having left that deal with the devil. Black hearts, in fact. Um, and then there was Dark Bum and the, the Mark. I think it's the Mark that doesn't give you HP. It's the Pax that gives you HP. Uh, spirit hearts, indeed. So it's not like we would be worse off for being Blue Baby in that situation. I mean, we're doing okay damage. It's, it feels like we're not against the boss, which is true. We're not doing good damage against bosses, but wow, I genuinely thought you were on a different path there. So okay. Fair play to you. I would like a bomb. I will take a bomb. I think maybe if we took this bomb here, we could get rid of a couple of these enemies a lot more quickly. Eek! Okay. That was terrible dodging. I I don't, li I don't like these things. They refuse to aggro when I want them to. And that was probably a bad use of that, actually. Because it's just going to dash themselves against the front and not do any damage. I can't get these things to aggro when I need them to. Do, 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 do we told. Probably don't want to go into this curse room just... Oh, my God. And they turn around. Okay, look. 
You know how these enemies work. Brain, we've had this discussion already today. Do we have a curse? No. Apart from the curse of being blue fucking baby. The curse of no DPS. That Torma photo was not nearly the damage upgrade that I was expecting it to be. The DPS upgrade I was expecting it to be. Honestly, I was hoping for a little more. We're still having trouble with these. I don't even think we're killing a dip. We're not We're not one hitting a dip, and that has the least, deep, uh, the least HP in the game. Which means each of our individual shots is not enough damage to... It's not even the least amount of damage it could be doing. We'll go in here, we'll deal with Loki. Hopefully we'll get a deal with the Angel. Um, not a fan of that. I really don't like the version of Loki that has this thing in it. Because I have to dodge around this and I end up walking into the shops. Oh, it's difficult. Just don't worry. Hopefully I'll be able to maybe get something like a... Just anything that will give, guarantee me a bit more HP. We could have taken Dark Bum and sort of sacked off the whole um, Crown of Light idea, but then what's the point in playing Blue Baby in the first place? I can't believe we haven't had a damage upgrade. It's not just that we haven't had one, it's that we didn't take two of them because of this one goal, this, this arbitrary goal that the game has given us that is the only thing we have between us and pure greatness has meant that we have no no real power against Loki right now. It's just a matter of attrition. It's just I have to not capitulate before Loki. Ah! Too busy paying attention to everything but Loki. I haven't found any Tinted Drops even. That's, the, that's what bites the most. Well, had we found one and not been able to take it because we have no bombs, might have bitten more. But I, I'm not, I don't have the luxury of having that knowledge. These things. Gotta die. Oh, Blue Baby is a really difficult uh, uh, character when you ain't got shit to deal with. Right. We've got some HP, which is a spirit heart, which is no fucking good. Let's go find our item room. Uh, this is bullshit. I don't want to be here. Let me out. I accidentally used my only key, so there's no point finding the item room. That is a very difficult enemy to dodge. All right. Just stay frosty, team. Guppy's head is not really the, the coup that you might expect it to be because our tears are so shit. We got our key back, by the way. Our tears are so poor that each individual fly is just bad. It doesn't really help. What is in that other room? I think it's just a slot machine. Oh, these are not... Okay, I have to kill these two. That's annoying. Do you have enough DPS to at least get through those to some extent? Uh, that's very tempting, but I'm going to say no thank you. Is there a slot machine? Yeah, but it's gated by spikes. We can't get to it at all. So, we will not try. Probably don't want to use any bombs here, even if we get them. That was fucking genius, and I makes me sad that I'm going to have to go back that way. So many champions in this room right now. Luckily, they are the brimstone ones, which are actually easier, in my opinion, than the silkworm ones, because they fire in one direction and then stop firing in that direction, as opposed to firing in one direction and then coming back and hitting you in the back of the head like a fucking boomerang. What is this, Zelda? This looks nothing like any game of Zelda I've ever played. My phone is buzzing. Tell it to desist. Oh, where is my item room? I have a key for my item room. And you are refusing to work with me. These things turn around on the dime as well. I hate that. They don't even have um, health bars. They're just really tanky, normal enemies. Which means you could re-roll them, I guess. They don't count as bosses because they don't have a health bar. Which means you can re-roll them. But I haven't got the Dio because I've got a much better item in basically every situation except this room. Ah, second key does help. Because it means we can maybe get some benefit out of our shop. We do have enough money to do so. I hate trying to um, avoid both of these at the same time. They do fire in threes, but you have to count the threes independently. <sighs> we're okay. Uh, yes. Oh, I guess we take Nightlight. I mean, it's not like we're... I was tempted to buy... Oh, now we can respawn this blue baby. <laughs> I was tempted to buy the battery and get some more flies, but you know, whatever. I might buy the key now, though. I can get um, I can get a book that produces spirit hearts. This is going to be fantastic. So I will buy the key, the clay. 
It's only five cents. We have some more cents. Please. Oh, you don't. Because you're a shitbag. Book of Secrets. Has told us basically nothing. The reason it's told us nothing is that we can't get into the secret rooms anyway. But I'm not taking it with me, so whatever. This room again. Run through here. Coax this one. Coax these two. Done. Whew. Oh. <laughs> oh. Those things that try to give me a heart attack. Well, we haven't got any keys, so we don't really have the option of trying the mob trap room. It's only a mob trap room, so it would be nice to have the option. It does have four golden chests in it, which could turn out to be super good for us, but I guess we just go and um, try the next floor at 30 freaking minutes. <laughs> I'm a bit sad that that library was such a wash as well. We have no curse. We haven't had a single curse. No, I've been carrying this day guys room like it's my you know, favourite toy from childhood. Like it's my comfort rag. I... What do people carry? Like, really nice lighters, pocket watches, handkerchiefs. Do we still carry those? I don't think I've seen anyone carry a handkerchief. I don't even know many people who carry a packet of handy andies. And if you're not going to carry a handkerchief, you should at least carry a tissue up your sleeve, right? Kerchief of the hand. This is helpful. Keep the fast enemies slowed. Did you see how they cornered me? I know there was a way out, but I was panicking. I didn't see what was happening until it was too late. No spirit hearts. At least we've got an extra one. Which helps no one. But we have it. 30 minutes, deaths too. If all the uh, timed optional things were different. <laughs> it's a good thing I wasn't going to do anything tonight. Like go to bed or anything. I'm not a fan of this. Come on. Stop pissing about over there and get over here and die. We could come back with the other unk. Like the, the broken aunt gives you a chance of coming back as well. Creepy gone. Let's get some bloody flash kitchen spray on this floor. No one's got time for this creep. It's 20 past 10. <laughs> I just want to kind of want to just stop. Oh, come on. We're not doing enough damage to eradicate these things with particular... A plum? We're not good enough, basically. Have we had a damage upgrade? I think no. Yes, we've got the blood clot, which is technically a damage upgrade, but I think it only affects the tier that is clotted. And it's not that huge a damage upgrade for that specific tier. So, considering it a, a damage upgrade is... I mean, it's good enough for the first floor. First couple of floors, it's nice to get through it. By the time you're at the depths, which we're on, right? We're on the depths. This is hard mode. Ooh. Can we get this? I think we might not be able to get this, but if we get a second bot. Oh, damage upgrade, just as I was asking for one. Just <laughs> beggars can't be choosers, etc. But uh, I wouldn't mind a uh, spirit heart, actually. Did you see that dodge, though? I can be trusted occasionally to not be the agent of my own destruction. More fishes, and I just stood there, and it was right. Even though I knew that it was coming straight for me. It's just more by luck and judgment. That's actually possibly super helpful. Don't really want to fight the boss trap room. But I wouldn't mind opening basically every golden chest that shows up on this floor now. And these things are dying suitably quicker that I don't feel too bad. About having to get behind them. Like any Anything other than the shit that we picked up would be great. I think we just had a lot of spacebar items as well. And stuff we don't want. Is this the one where we got Mark or was that, Mark or was that the last one? I didn't like it even. In either case. Uh, we'll pick up all these keys. They could come in useful. We are going to the chest eventually. If you know, the game will let us. Oh, I was hoping to do anything else. Another spacebar item. This is a run where I'd like to have the trinket that stops me getting spacebar items. Instead of the trinket that makes my tears look funny. We can get into this room. Though, and I think we should. Still no curse. We haven't had a single curse of the blind, which is actually quite nice. It means we haven't picked up something shit like soy milk by accident. It also means we haven't picked up anything. Because any curse of the blind on this floor so far, this run so far, would have been fine. Uh, hmm. I 
don't have any bombs. I don't need black candle because I don't need to be immune from curses. Immune to curses because... Like, I've got the day guys rune and we've hardly had any. So I'm immune to at least one curse anyway. Whichever one I choose to be immune to. But it does give us a black heart. But 15 cents for a black heart is not that good. It's, it's evil up, but who cares? My evil is not my damage right now. I'm pretty sure it's not an actual damage upgrade. Should we just get this over with? We've been to all the important rooms. Been to all the rooms. You have to be a champion mom as well, don't you? I'm not into this. I was cornered. You all saw it. So at least I've kept my day guys room to <laughs> get me through whichever floor is going to be the worst. Now, of course, we're on the womb with hardly any damage. Again, it's a little bit salty about the fact that if we weren't doing this nonsense, we would have the Abaddon... I don't even know. Abaddon, Dark Bum. Like, Dark Bum on this blue baby run, on any blue baby run, is so valuable. But we were not allowed it. <laughs> it's, just, it's not an option. I can't even hit Mom. So I can't get through the enemies that spawn in front of Mom. That was very close. But it's a nose. Not a good time. Like, the eyeballs show up, but I'm concentrating on these spiders because they're going to hurt. Oh, stop. <laughs> Shoot the foot. Shoot the foot. Good. Do any damage at all, basically. It's going to be... I'm, <laughs> there's no way we would have got boss rush. I mean, it's not like I'm missing a considerable amount of enemies or playing particularly badly right now. It's just... Our damage is so shit. And it would have been such a good run if we were allowed to take a deal with the devil, but the constraint that we've given ourselves has crippled this run and every run in my entire life. I mean, occasionally you just have to sort of throw the, you know, to hell with, to hell with the achievement, right? And say, I'm, I'm doing this. Maybe I'll do some more um, greed mode runs. I know it seems a little bit anticlimactic, but it's getting to the point where I want to play the game for shits again. I want to play the game. And the game is, if you're faced with Abaddon in a deal with the devil as Blue Baby, if I can take Abaddon, man, take it. Go nuts, have fun. Crown of Light is not even this good. You know what I mean? It's not that great an item as to deserve this level of rarity. The, the thing that I was shooting had gone away. Die. Hooray! And a deal with the devil! So much fun. Right, I'm taking it. Whatever it is. Uh, I'm not taking it. Ooh. I've only got one guppy item. This kills us. If we can get back in. Which we can. Ah! The ank responders. Which means we use Dagars. Take the other one. He's still alive. We're guppy. This is such an outside play. The, f the fact is there was so little chance of even getting the angel rooms on the next two floors. Even getting the door. Then it had to be an angel room to be worthwhile. And it was, face it was guppy right in front of us. And it was takeable as well. Now we can't get hit, but well, we might respawn. We can't get hit, really. Oh, hello. Um, but... Oh, <laughs> what a play. I think the thing is, because we're going all the way to the chest right now, we really need more advantages. Even if... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Those random shots. Oh, it was worth it. I, uh, I think I'll do some greed mode runs. We'll try and get the Crown of Light thing done. And then we'll just start playing this game for this game. Because that run could have been so much more fun. If we'd taken the deals with the devil that were offered to us. And I think I would have had a much better time. And I'll be a lot less salty. Uh, also, I just want to, I want to finish this drive that curses me in my daily life. I can't sleep at night. It affects my relationships. It affects my work. You know, I can't talk to my mum without saying, but I still haven't got Crown of Light. So I, 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 I have to stop.
we have to end this. So, look forward to some greed mode runs in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't. Ha ha ha. Stop being salty. It's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode, if I ever make one. <laughs>